Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. If you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Today is no different. Today we are getting into this three pack that I found at my Costco the other day. Um, this actually was on clearance at my Costco because it was the last three that they had. Um, I guess they couldn't really se um, sell them all that well. And so when we were randomly looking and I found the other ones that they, they used to have um, are the newer ones that they have, which are the mini tins. Um, they had just this one pack left of, I'm guessing these were the original three that came out. I don't remember. Um, but these are still sealed. So, and as always, I do have my handy dandy um, tin next to me. So if we have time, I just completely ruined my nail polish on this thing here. I should have opened these up beforehand, didn't think about it. So give me one moment, I'm actually going to open these up. Okay, all have been opened. I don't even remember what comes in these, it's been so long. I guess so long to my nail. Okay, so we get a Fusion Strike. Brilliant Stars, a coin, ooh, and Evolving Skies. So this wasn't a bad, bad thing. I got all three of these for like 20 bucks. So I don't think that that was a bad price at all. Especially for having Evolving Skies in there. So let me actually, let me see if they are all the same or if they are different. See, Brilliant Stars, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, and Evolving Skies. I actually have a tin in there, like, um, I use these tins. These tins are great, by the way, for, uh, storing coins and stuff. I have one that's just filled with just coins, and then I have another one, um, that is filled with pins, so... I'm going to just keep, I'm just going to go in a row and just keep going back and forth. And I guess we're going to end on some evolving skies. If I can get this open. And let's hope that evolving skies is not evolving cards today. That is the goal. And we'll see. If this was truly worth it. Although one thing I did notice is that a lot of the times when you, or at least when I, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this either, but a lot of times when I get cards from like Costco or Sam's Club, um, for some odd reason, they just seem so, um, not the greatest of quality it to you like that like they're just so thin and it's like what in the world like they don't seem like they're tough like this one seems fine this one seems like normal cardboard oh man i feel like i gotta sneeze and that's never good also mind you these are all i put them all in order too so this is actually going to be from the green tin or the decidui tin, the leaf tin, however you want to put it. Um, I can tell you that this Evolving Skies is from a reprint. What if the Moon Brion? I have still not gotten the Moon Brion, so it would be nice. I'm never probably going to get it. But it would be nice. And a semi-toad. Let me go ahead and put a divider in here because these ones I think were from the water tin. Because I did the the, the yellow tin or electric tin first. So 
I'm so upset about my nail. It's so stupid, but like my nails have been so good. Okay. Usually I have like the worst nails ever. And so anytime I do my nails, they instantly come off. And I've had these suckers done for like, and I did this myself, mind you. I had them stay on, they've been staying on now for over a week. Oh, there we go. Which to me is just unheard of because, like I said, I have really bad oily nail beds to begin with. So like, nail polish just never wants to stay on. And I finally got it to stay on and it comes right off. Kind of. It was forced off. But still. Brilliant Stars. This is the set that has like five different Charizards and I don't own a single one. Except for maybe like a regular Charizard. Oh my gosh, I can't get these apart. Like, it's just impossible. Oh, a Sneasel, an or Oranguru, and an Agra. Well, I got my hopes up and then it dashed. Because I think I already, I know I definitely have this Oranguru, but... Orangaroo? Orangaroo. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I apologize. For some reason, that is just how my brain wants to say it. I'm also really proud of myself because I have not messed up my tins once today. And now me saying that I'm going to. Usually I mess up by now. I have not. Evolving Skies. This is also reprint. Man, some of these cards are just really hard to like hold on to. So I apologize if like I don't, I don't know. And a Victini. Okay, last tin. So this was the electric tin. So far, the second tin had the best poles in it, I want to say. Um, did we get all three from the second tin? Or did the... I think we did. I think the hoopa actually came in the, the, the second tin as well. I don't think I got a hit in the first 10. These cards feel so just flimsy. Okay. Well, not starting off strong for this 10 either. Brilliant stars. But yeah, I was actually really shocked when I saw this. Just sitting there. And uh, I was like, I was looking at my husband, I was like, you know I have to get it right. He's like, you don't, but you're going to. And I was just like, you right. You right, you right. But yeah. And an ice cube. Man. Okay. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Given that it's evolving skies. Probably not. But could you imagine though? Getting the moon brion in a Costco pack that was on clearance. Could you imagine? It's never going to happen. Not even going to get my hopes up. Because my luck in Evolving Skies recently has been horrible. And it's not just my luck. I guarantee it's probably everyone's luck. So. 
But this pack does not is not friendly today. Oh my gosh. Okay. We are ending on a talon flame. Of course. No hits from the last one. The second one was the only one that mattered. <laughs> Okay, well, that was everything that I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!